Listening Library presents Who Was Harry Houdini? by 2E.T. Sutherland Read for you by Kevin Pariseau Who Was Harry Houdini? Who Was Harry Houdini? Most people know that he was a famous magician. But did you know that he was also a movie star, a pilot, an acrobat, and a writer? Harry Houdini didn't even really like the word magician. He preferred to call himself an escape artist. He said he could break out of anything. Handcuffs, jail cells, straitjackets, chains, padlocked boxes, iron cages, anything. People challenged Houdini to escape from all sorts of weird things in all sorts of weird places. And he always succeeded. Why do people still find him so fascinating? For one thing, a lot of what he did has never been done by anyone else. Many of his tricks are still mysteries. And he told so many fantastic stories about his life that sometimes it's hard to know what was true and what wasn't. We also don't know why he did all the crazy and dangerous things that he did. Was it to impress people? Was it because he thought it would make him rich? Or was it because he wanted to be the best in the world at something, and he wanted the world to know it? Harry Houdini was certainly a very talented escape artist. More importantly, he was determined. What Houdini wanted, Houdini got. And Houdini wanted attention. Lots of it. In a time before television and movies, Harry Houdini became famous all over the world. Everybody knew who he was. He made sure of that. Can you imagine somebody getting famous today without using TV, computers, or movies? But being famous was very important to Houdini, and his dream came true. Even now, more than 75 years after his death, he is still the most famous magician who ever lived. Chapter 1 So You Want to Be an American the year was 1886. A twelve-year-old boy stood on the platform at a train station. He was small but muscular and tough-looking, with dark hair, bright blue-gray eyes, and a frown on his face. He was not where he meant to be. He had hopped on a train in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, several hundred miles to the north. His plan was to get to Texas, where he thought the train was going. Along the way, he had sent his mother a postcard. But this was not Texas. The sign on the platform clearly said, Kansas City, Missouri. Somehow he had ended up on the wrong train. And now here he was, hundreds of miles and several states away from Texas. What could he do? He'd have to make the best of it. After all, he had run away from home so he could earn more money for his family. He planned to run errands, shine shoes, do any jobs he could find. Surely he could do that just as well in Missouri as he could in Texas. So off he went to town, looking for a place to sleep. In the years to come, this boy would travel a lot farther than Kansas City, Missouri. The nickels and dimes he planned to bring home to his family would one day be hundreds and thousands of dollars. But then, at that point, the young shoeshine boy could never have imagined that one day he'd be a world-famous magician. He had trouble just earning enough money to eat. Harry Houdini's childhood is full of stories that may or may not be true. He was born on March 24, 1874, in Budapest, Hungary. His real name was Eric Weiss. But during his lifetime, Harry always said his birthday was April 6th, because that is what his mother told him. And sometimes he said he was born in America, depending on which reporter he was talking to. In those days, many people in Europe thought of America as a magical place where all their problems would be solved. Thousands came to the United States from Europe, hoping to make a new start in life. And lots of money, too. Harry's father was one of them. His name was Mayor Samuel Weiss, and he was a rabbi, a teacher of the Jewish religion. 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?